Gathering was held in Norwood to remember Tyler Lawrence, a 13 year old who was shot and killed last weekend. WBZ's Paul Burton takes us to the memorial where loved ones remembered a happy teenager who should have had his whole life ahead of him. Embracing one another in tears and broken hearts, hundreds gathered in Norwood to say goodbye and pay their respects to Tyler Lawrence. Tyler was life. Tyler was special and exceptional. Tyler was gunned down in Mattapan last Sunday morning in broad daylight while walking in his grandmother's neighborhood as he often did every weekend. He was only 13 years old. His mother, Remy, was surrounded by an entire community that's completely devastated. Tyler was part of many community organizations. Toffer Winslow was Tyler's big brother. He was a joy. He was a kid who had boundless energy. I just don't understand how this happens. Um, it's a, it's such an enormous loss of human potential. Tyler was going to be someone who was going to make a difference in the world, and the world's been robbed of that. The line for Tyler's celebration of life wrapped around the parking lot and down the street. Not surprising for a young man who had big dreams, including the NBA. He was also part of a program called No Books, No Ball, an organization that stresses academics and basketball. Every 13-year-old loves to live out their dream, to play college and enter into the NBA. Uh, that was just one of his dreams as well. I mean, every 13-year-old has those dreams. Uh, it's just a travesty that his life was cut short and not being able to live out those dreams. Tyler was a seventh grader at the Coakley Middle School in Norwood. Today, his classmates, his teachers, and families are overcome with grief, knowing that he will be greatly missed inside the classrooms, down the hallway, and in the locker room. And was loved loved by so many people um, and that he will be with us um, and with our school forever. What happened in our community is horrifying and tragic, but this outpouring of love and support shows the impact of Tyler and that the community is no longer going to stand for senseless murder. Police are still investigating the murder. So far, no arrests have been made. In Norwood, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.